The air is thick, the heat stifling. Trickles of sweat run down my neck. My clean shirt, now wet and tacky. My booted feet crying for air. I hear the familiar muffled sound of footprints on the scorched earth, and I smile. They are here. A piercing squeal from an impatient calf racing towards the cool that Hapua promises brings chills of anticipation. The rumbling from cows needing to quench their thirst and drench their parched skins fills the air. Eleven people in a bus, yet not one murmur. The silence almost deafening. The ground trembles as they surround us, curiously peering through the windows as they pass by. Gasps of awe from humans seeing these kings of the road for the first time. Emotional whispers from people who have journeyed across the world for this moment. Nothing can compare. The water explodes into violent waves of splashes as young bulls submerge their clumsy forms into the cool water, trunks swishing with joy, cows gratefully lowering their heads, their trunks sucking up the liquid of life and spraying it into their waiting mouths, their tiny calves hiding beneath their rotund bellies from the fiery yellow ball in the sky. A sudden ear-splitting trumpeting from behind us reveals the arrival of a glorious giant, a must bull, head held high, the overpowering stench of dribbling urine from his extended manhood, dark streaks of fluid staining his face, sheer arrogance in his exaggerated swagger. His mission is clear, and the cows jostle about nervously as he approaches each one, his trunk sniffing, touching, testing, and seeking to fulfill his need. Then he stops dead in his tracks, his ears splayed, trunk extended high above his head, examining the still air. He spins around, eyes wide, and tusks proudly jutting forward as he watchfully observes the arrival of a second must bull. Tails erect, heads high, the giants approach each other, their bodies tense. For a moment we fearfully expect the clashing of titans and brace ourselves. But the second bull suddenly retreats, backing up respectfully and heads humbly in another direction. Maturity and size determines this outcome. Nothing more, nothing less. The rumble of yet another herd arriving, excited squeals from the young calves greeting friends. Trunks stroking, entwining, cows animatedly greeting, mingling, sharing space at the water's edge. Awkward ballet stances as little ones stretch to reach the coolness, hustling bodies nudging and shoving in impatience. Muddy sprays of water cascade through the air onto parched, wrinkled skin, trunks dipping yet again and again. Calves delighting in slipping and sliding through mud on their bellies, hind legs splayed, a messy, jumbled group of muddied bodies cavorting as ch children do. Joyous laughter fills the bus yet again, I smile. This is why I am a guide. This is the place where magic occurs. This is Hopwood.